Tim Ferriss is one of the biggest productivity influencers in the world. He wrote a book called The 4-Hour Work Week and has pretty much been talking about productivity over 10 to 15 years in the limelight. And he's obviously had so many good concepts, but you're probably curious, what apps does Tim actually use in his daily life? So Tim's actually shared a little bit about that in his blog post, which he wrote back and was updated back in 2021. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the apps that he uses and maybe why he does. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Sinsama. Check it out in the link in description. They've added new ways to time box and it's great for optimizing how you plan your day. Check it out in the link in description. A little bit more about them later as well. So interestingly enough, Tim uses uh, a wide range of tools. For his note-taking choice, he uses one called Evernote. Now Tim is, I believe, an investor in Evernote and he uses it for note-taking and research at the same time. So he uses it to declutter, to research, and Evernote has come a long way in the last two years since their acquisition. They have been developing better ways to use Evernote and making it much more stable as well as adding AI features and resources. So you can find it linked below if you're interested. So interestingly enough for his focus and sleep, he uses a app called Flux. Now this is an app that helps to dim your screen. So it's available on Mac and Windows as well as Linux. And basically what it does is it detects the time on your laptop or your screen, and it basically starts dimming your screen based on that. Now there is a feature in macOS already called uh, Night Shift, which you can do this with, but this app is a separate app built around the circadian rhythm and when sunlight is in your area to help make sure that you don't get things like insomnia. The next focus or sound app that he uses is called Noisly. I used to use this a couple of years ago and it's a very simple app that has a wide range of noises that you can select from. I think what's nice about Noisly is you can get it through the web but from my memory of the app you can also choose multiple ones at the same time. So if you want a blender or a rainstorm at the same time, you can have both come in. But whatever real mix you want, you can create them using the app. So again, it's great for sleep, but also for your general productivity if sound and focus makes an impact on your daily life. So for writing and creative endeavors, he uses an app called Scrivener. Now this one is much more suited for long form writing. A lot of theater producers and uh, script writers actually use this to help break down scenes and long form novelists and essay writers use this as well. It's very much a technical tool. I actually found out recently that Scrivener based down in Cornwall in the UK and I'm in Devon. So strange, but they're around the corner from me. I don't know where we'll ever bump into each other. So if you're taking like research, essays, novels, or maybe long form writing to the next level, then this one could be a good one for you. And they do, I believe, have a way to download it so you can have one-time access ongoing. A quick pause for our sponsor, Sansama. They're a powerful, mindful daily planner application that's gonna help you manage your calendar and task list. And they've got a brand new feature called time boxing 2.0. Now this brand new time boxing feature automatically fills your day with tasks and adjusts to your schedule in real time without you ever needing to time box a single task manually or automatically. This continues their abilities and is perfect for effortless scheduling, hybrid planning approaches and real time adaptations. So your schedule can stay up to date automatically. This is a brilliant feature that combines AI and manual input and you should check out Sun's Armor below with their brand new Time Boxing 2.0 feature. So the next one is for his communication and emails. He's been a long time user of an app called Boomerang. This one helps you to schedule emails and follow-ups. So essentially, I think a long time from reading his stuff, Boomerang was used in the four hour work week to help schedule emails to people on their perfect time zones in order to get a optimal response time. I'm guessing he continues to use that concept, but the follow-ups make sure that you don't forget that you've got to follow up on an email. There are many different apps like this on the market now, but ones like Sanebox and uh, Clean Email and even ones to declutter your inbox, but this one is Tim's go-to choice. So next up is one called Jump Cut. This is a clipboard manager for macOS and it's designed to help manage your clipboard history. 
Um, but what it does is just to try to make it a lot easier to manage. So Tim obviously takes a lot of stuff from his clipboard and this is the app that he uses. Now there are other ones like I believe Paste Pal is another one, which is very popular in the space as a way to copy and paste certain things, manage your clipboard. Um, I'm sure many of you will recommend even more below. So the next one is called coach.me and this one is a habit coaching platform. Now the idea is this, is you sign up to focus on a habit. Maybe it's losing mate, maybe it's a objective in finance or whatever it may be in your life. Well, essentially you add the habit and then you get paired with a coach which can help you work towards that habit. It's sort of very much like trying to build a more sustainable way to approach that, almost like being a bit more proactive and allowing them to direct you in that direction of trying to achieve success in whatever your goal is. I remember this app being incredibly popular about five, 10 years ago. Um, I'm not too sure now, but at the same time, it allows you to have and manage your habits with somebody helping you who's an expert in said habit to get to you to achieve that goal. So those are all of the tools that Tim uses in a daily basis. This is from 2021. So if you are watching this and you are Tim, please do email me an updated list so I can do another video on it, I'm sure. So interestingly, all of these apps aren't crazy optimized. It looks like there's small utilities to help improve his daily productivity. There's not five different apps in one category. It seems like he's nailed down what apps tend to work best for him. And that's what you should do as well. So a big thanks for stopping by in today's video. Thank you to Sansama for sponsoring today. And you can check out all the apps that Tim uses in the link in description. Thank you very much, folks. And I look forward to having you here as a subscriber so do hit subscribe like and comment below with what apps you thought tim was using so thanks very much and i'll see you all very soon cheerio